Kathleen Babineau Blanco was a teacher who turned 20 years of public service into a landmark term as governor here in Louisiana. This morning, she will be remembered here at St. Joseph's Cathedral in an interfaith service. Born in 1942 in New Iberia, Kathleen Babineau Blanco grew up to shatter ceilings. This is a new Louisiana. Blanco was elected Louisiana's first female governor in 2004. I, Kathleen Babineau Blanco. Just one year into that historic term, the future of our state was anything but certain when Hurricanes Katrina and Rita changed everything. Local, state and federal response to the devastation in New Orleans was widely criticized. Actions she later tried to set straight in this interview with WDSU. Kind of boil it down to this. If the buses had run on time, the trauma would not have existed. Blanco gained stride in the aftermath, rebuilding the Superdome before stepping out of public office after just one term as governor. But what a strong and courageous woman she was and, and a trailblazer here in Louisiana. It was in 2011 that Blanco announced she was diagnosed with a rare form of eye cancer, a type that affects about six in one million people. I'm praying for a miracle. Just last year, the former governor said her fight would soon end, saying there's no escaping this disease. I think we step away and say, what are we going to get from Mrs. Blanco going forward? And that is to be focused and passionate. And, and if you believe in something, go for it and do it. <laughs> Following this morning's service here at St. Joseph's Cathedral in Baton Rouge, Blanco will lay in state just a couple blocks down the road at the state capitol building. Her funeral will be Saturday in Lafayette. Reporting live from downtown Baton Rouge, I'm Jennifer Crockett, WDSU News.